Fans cheering at Talladega. Earnhardt Jr. leads last lap. Outside, outside. Vickers wants to go. He's getting a little wider. There he goes. Junior. Down. Oh, no! Vickers hits the 48. Hook the 48 and takes out Earnhardt and Jimmy Johnson. Caution is out. The leaders had already taken the white flag. So is it going to be the 25 or the 9? There are 19 scoring loops all around the track. NASCAR will use scoring loops and videotape to determine the race winner. The checkered flag is out. Checkers and yellow out at Talladega. Oh, man, oh, man. Not going to be a popular win for the 25. <laughs> it is. Ray Evernham, owner of the nine car. And you know, this, this damage came from hitting the eight car in the left door on the 48. Jimmy Johnson. Okay, the 48 gets a run. He goes to turn out. The 25 goes with him and just hooks the back of Jimmy Johnson's car. Jimmy Johnson, as he's wrecking, gets into the eight car. Eight car, just an innocent bystander on that deal. Now watch the, the 48 going to the left door. The left rear tire, actually. Watch, these guys get a good run. The 48 pulls out, the 25 pulls out behind him, just misjudges just an inch. Just enough to turn the 48 into Dale Jr.'s left rear. There you see it again. Same thing happened in the Truck Series race Friday night. I mean, last night. Mike Skinner hooked the right rear of Mike Walsh, and in the wall he went. He hit the wall. He didn't have the eight car to bounce off of. He went in the wall. Get on board the eight car here. This is a look out the back. You'll see Jimmy Johnson get a good run. This is what he was waiting for. And then watch the 25 just hook the rear fender here. Just, I mean, just touch the bumper. We're still waiting for NASCAR to declare a winner. Vickers thinks it's him. We wait for word from NASCAR. Dave? With Tony Uri, Tony Uri Jr., crew chief for Dale Jr., it looks like you were going to get teamed up on anyway, but you didn't expect to get wrecked. No, I mean that was um, it was just a bad deal. I mean that's that's racing. Uh, you know, I just I hate it for a points day. That was the biggest deal. We knew we might might finish third, but uh, you know Brian was just a little eager to get his first win or whatever. But uh, you know my hats off to Chad and them guys. I mean uh, Jimmy is he's. Uh, matured a lot in the last year as far as a driver on these restrictor plate races so uh, it's not his fault it's just Brian was a little bit anxious but uh, you know that's the way it goes uh, we just got to keep our chin up and dig for this championship uh, just glad DI is back on the restrictor plate deal but my boys in the motor shop just keep digging we'll get them all right true emotion here from the eight camp today didn't win Bill and Brian Vickers did that's the word from NASCAR Brian Vickers is the race winner Keep in mind that Brian Vickers and Jimmy Johnson are teammates at Hendrick Motorsports. And Vickers is leaving that team at the end of this season. Is not allowed in team meetings and hasn't been for a while at Hendrick. Chevy congratulates Brian Vickers and the 25 Monte Carlo SS on another great team victory. 25 of the last 34 NASCAR Manufacturers Championships and counting. Chevy and American Revolution. Marty. Well, Dale Earnhardt Jr. has climbed from the car. The eight Budweiser Chevy is very damaged. It's going to take off his helmet, take a moment to cool down here and uh, explaining things to, to us guys here. Jr., he wants a second. He's going to take his uh, booties off. Obviously upset, leading on the final lap. Handshake from Tony Uri Sr. on a race that was uh, very well run and certainly not the end that he wanted. Clearly had the best car today. 
And I know that's a disappointing one to take. Walk me through what was going on with the 48. Um, well, he was just waiting to the last lap. Um, very smart move on his part, and they had a good run coming uh, at the end of the race here. And as you see right there, they got a good push together, working really good together there. And I knew it was just really not going to be much I could do. Uh, he went to the inside here, and I tried to block him a little bit. But once I understood that he was there, I didn't push the issue anymore, and the 25 turned him into me. So, I mean, uh, Brian just... You know, excited there. I hate it for a 48. I hate it for our team. We had a great car and not really that upset. I mean, we, you know, it's just the way racing goes here. And sometimes you come out on the good end of those deals. I'm really happy Brian got his first win and for him, Rick Hendrick and everybody. But, you know, just unfortunate we tore our car. My guys really wanted to win today. This will be a big hit in the championship standings real quick, Junior. <laughs> yeah. Ain't much I could have done about it. I, believe me, I tried to save it. <laughs> All right, Junior did the best he could, Bill, but uh, ends up with a wrecked race car. Thank you, Marty. Well, Brian Vickers has pulled into victory lane, and Alan Bestwick is there. And we'll hear the reception that Brian will get from his team and from the fans. Brian, your first win. I guess the first thing I need to ask you is tell me about the last lap. Yeah. Oh, man. That was, uh, it's, it's pretty exciting to get our first win with the GMAC Chevy. I always. I said I wanted to get a win for uh, for Ricky in this car. I want to dedicate this this win to Ricky so bad. Um, not quite exactly how I planned it. Uh, you know, Jimmy had a heck of a run, and I was pushing him. And then when he turned turned down, I got off of him, and he and he turned down to pass the eight, and the eight just kept pushing him down. And when when he jerked to to avoid the eight, trying to block him, I just got in the back of him. I apologize. That's the last thing I want to do was uh, was get into Jimmy and all that take place. But uh, uh, you know, when they Job chopped him and Jimmy swerved and and I, I just got him. It's not how I wanted to win it, but but it's nice to get a win for this 25 car. It's been a long time. I was going to say, can you explain the mixed emotions that this must bring for you? <laughs> mixed emotions. You're not you're, you're saying enough. I mean, I'll tell you there at the last lap. I knew that uh, that Jimmy was waiting for the last lap and I was willing to push him to the front. I didn't expect for us to be able to win. I, I was looking for us to maybe get a second place um, for Jimmy to, to push Jimmy by the eight and that'd be it. And uh, but what happened happened. And, and uh, you know, it's it's still nice to get this win. It's uh, it's not quite how we planned it, but uh, I hate it for Jimmy. I want to apologize to him. Uh, like I said, it just um, when he swerved to miss the eight, you know, I was there and it just happened. You talked about Ricky Hendrick. You are leaving this team in just another six races now. Thoughts on finally getting the breakthrough win with the Hendricks? Yeah, it, it means all the world. I, I mean, you know, for, for uh, like I said, you know, for Jimmy to, to have to wreck is not how I wanted it. But um, but to get this win for Ricky Hendrick uh, and everybody in that plane crash, it just means all the much to, I mean, all the world to me. I, uh, you know, it was close to me and, and um, you know, I miss him all, all the world, and and uh, we've been wanting to get this win for him for a long, long time. It's good to see the 25 back in victory lane. What does it mean to you? Was there some doubt that you could get that breakthrough win because it had been a little while in coming? Yeah, I mean, it's it has been. It's been uh, it's been too long. You know, it's uh, you know this team is, is is we've come so close so many times and stuff happened. You know, blown tires, you pit, and the caution comes out, and and uh, man, to get this win and uh, get it for Ricky means a lot. Brian, congratulations. Brian Vickers, the winner at Talladega today. Dave? Jimmy Johnson trying to repeat, talk about the last lap and the pass attempted by you and your teammate. Um, got a run on the eight and got inside of him and just got hit from behind and it turned me into the eight and then off we went. So, um, need to see the video. Just can't believe it. I mean, here we go all day long. I had a great chance to make up some points and uh, end up getting crashed by a teammate. And you know, obviously, his exuberance to, as we'll try to pull up some video for you here, get to victory lane it's very tight out there when you make these fast passes isn't it uh it is and um you know when you've got to run that big on someone you should probably just pull down and pass them instead of trying to bump draft them um, i just i just got turned around so one of those deals and in your hopes for the championship jimmy this is a this is another tough blow it is i mean we've we've got the speed i'm so proud of this race team and everything hendrick motorsports is doing uh, just too bad we can't uh, capitalize on days when we, can, we really have a chance to make up some points Okay, and we see that you're okay. We're glad for that as well. And uh, just sorry it ended this way today. Marty.